I offered a piece of steak to my spoiled vegan sister, and she planted a fork in my hand to show me what animals feel. Now she works in my butcher shop. My little sister has been vegan for two years. Very sensitive to animal rights, she made this choice in our family, which I found respectable since no one else was, especially not me. We lived in a rather remote area, a small town where there wasn't a lot of work. My sister dreamed of living in the city and leading a chic urban life. Over time, I've seen her become more radical. Initially vegetarian, she decided to stop consuming all animal products, including milk, fish, or even eggs. Naturally, the products she consumed were paid for by my parents, since she didn't want to work on my end. I had a passion for meat, so I wanted to work as a butcher. She was more intellectual and wanted to go to college in the city. I liked to tease her occasionally, but she was quite aggressive. The lack of meat made her a bit aggressive. One day, during a family dinner with me, my parents, and an uncle, she once again refused to eat what the family was eating. My mother had prepared a nice steak with pasta and salad. She took some water and salad and brought out her quinoa. For a joke, I asked her if what she was eating was good, and she replied, Yes, it's very good. And especially, I'm not a cruel person who makes animals suffer for his own pleasure. Honestly, you deserve to be in their place. I responded that we need to eat them. They eat each other, and they're fine on our plates, as everyone in this family could attest. She called me a failure, said I hadn't pursued higher education and that I was going to become close-minded. I was the person who disgusted her the most in the world. I told her, so what? As long as I have my delicious steak at the bottom of my plate, I'm happy to show her words didn't affect me. I took my fork and knife, cut a piece of my steak, and waved it under her nose. I said, wouldn't you like this little piece, huh? It looks good, doesn't it? She was sitting across from me, took her fork, and violently stabbed the hand. I used to lean back and tease her. Then she said, This is what the animals you eat endure, and that's what you deserve. I screamed, and everyone at the table was outraged. I screamed in pain. Now you can check if there's a part two by clicking on share and more.